uh, I could get real emotional up here today. I'm just uh, so proud of our kids. You, 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 you watch them, you know, been with Martha now three years, and you, you know what she's been through with us and uh, having to adapt to uh, new staff and change and, you know, a, a coach that's pretty demanding and uh, believes in her. Um, you know, I just, number one, I love Martha Alwall and I believe in her. <laughs> And uh, it's, it's, it's been it's so rewarding to see where we were three years ago to where we are now. And I said this from the very beginning with our team. I don't think I've said this out, you know, outside our locker room, but I really, I really want to get this team to the NCAA tournament for those seniors that we inherited, those three kids. Now, certainly I want it for our whole team and our program, but those three seniors are just really special to me, J.J., Kinder, and Martha. Um, I have to give them a lot of credit. And uh, of course, these two freshmen will play like freshmen. And, uh, but that means your, your staff's doing a good job. They're, you're doing a great job evaluating talent. You're bringing kids in that can play the way you want to play. And uh, you know, I told Victoria in that time out after she made that shot, I said, baby, I have more confidence in you than I think sometimes you have in yourself. And I just knew, I could tell when I saw her on the floor and I saw how they were guarding her, I knew she was going to get a good look down there, and she did. She's wide open. Martha set a great screen on the backside. She got plenty of room. She's got that bounce in her step. She's a rhythm shooter, and when she turned it loose, I knew it was in. And uh, I just, you know, you, you, you have no idea how many times we've gone through that in practice, how many times we've, you know, when we go on the road and go in the night before, I have Victoria running the baseline, her and those two guards just doing that all the time. and. You know, in a game like this, and Lord knows we missed way too many free throws. We missed way too many blockouts on free throws. We missed way too many blockouts on missed shots. But at the end of the day, you go and you go from the first half where you didn't play great defensively. You take a kid that was 5 out of 11 and hold her to 2 for 14 the second half. They make five baskets in the second half. And you just hang around and hang around and you find a way to win. I mean, that team is good, y'all. They are. They got a six-time Hall of Fame coach over there. They got great players. But you know what? Our team's pretty good too, and I've been telling y'all that. We got a pretty good team at Mississippi State, and we just kept competing, kept finding a way, hanging around. And you know, the longer it goes, and the closer it gets, it might get a little bit tighter on the other end sometimes. I don't think that's what happened tonight because that's a veteran ball club on the other side. I think we contested shots. I think we just we made it enough plays, one more, than they did. I certainly didn't want to play them another overtime, uh, but you know we got down four in the second overtime, in the first overtime, and we just we kept battling. This kid right here, what a player, what a competitor, a fierce competitor. She just kept battling and battling, and and I told her going in, I said, baby, there's nobody that can guard you, and there's not. If you get her the right the right rub. It's, it's very difficult for another team. And Jordan did a great job on her, took a couple charges on her, got off on her right hand. And Jordan, hey, there's a reason why she's co-defensive player of the year in our league with this one. She's a great defensive player. But so proud of our kids for just their effort and their focus, especially down the stretch, in making plays. What a great atmosphere. How about our crowd again? We just, it was just a tremendous basketball game by two tremendous teams. Um, you have no idea the respect I have for Coach Blair, that staff, and those players. And to know the work that went in and what our kids have done, not just this week, but throughout the season to build up to today. And we still got a lot left. So it's a, it's a great day to be a Bulldog. Hey, we're giving God the glory for a great victory, tremendous effort. If you couldn't see him in our kids today and how they played and the passion that they played with, the flame that was burning in them, hey, you're blind. Because our kids, they had it today. I'm really proud of them.